And welcome back. We have a special guest with us once again this morning, Rita De Maria, a certified marriage and family therapist who's the director of the Delaware Valley Relationship Center, and here today to talk about the uh, empty nest syndrome. You know, when the kids either leave home or go back to school, you think I always thought of, of empty nest as being when the uh, when the kids left home for good, but there's an empty nest thing sure. as well when they go to school. Yes, at various stages. When children first go to school, right. you know, the, the first couple years, there's also a change when they go off to high school and then the empty nest when they go to college. And most people don't just have one child in one stage. They mm -hmm. may have a child beginning first grade, a child going into eighth grade. So there's a lot of variety. What happens to couples when, when their kids start going away? Well, the best thing that can happen is that they start spending a little more time with each other. And, you know, sometimes we're so focused on taking care of the kids, making sure that they're prepared for school, that we don't think about adding some extra time for ourselves. Do most people find it to be a positive, a, a, a happy thing, hey, we get to spend more time together, or more feeling empty? Well, I think people who have been spending time together look forward to it. The people who haven't been paying attention to that are the ones who sort of shake their head and say, hmm, oh, gee, now what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> and, what, and what do they do? Well, my advice is that they should spend some time together. Try to see if they can find something that's fun that they want to do together. Um, just plan a date, go out for lunch if, if that's possible at all, or just try to do something where they have time without the kids. Many couples grow closer at this time? It depends on what they do. I think a lot of couples don't pay enough time, uh, uh, time and attention to themselves, so that will cause them to grow apart. You know, you have to communicate on a regular basis. So more of a shock, I, guess, I would assume there's more of a shock when the kids leave home, in theory, for good. Right. But again, that depends. If couples have been talking to each other, they've actually been probably looking forward to that time and may even have plans already set up. You know, they're taking off for a vacation that they've been waiting for. But if they're not talking during those years, if they all of a sudden just wait till the kids grow up, that's when there tend to be many more problems. So talk to each other and everything will be fine. And always remember the kids will be stopping back to visit for two or three years of at course. a time. <laughs>